Well, good day, you Cheese like in your box. Episode. <laughs> From under? Sorry, I had to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Ginger A. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the From Under Cheese Review. Oh, no. Anyway, you have the rhino and the ginger snatch. And we have this beer from, um... And I don't know what it is. The good people at Grand River Brewing in uh, Cambridge. This is Tail Set Ginger Ale. Yay! So, we have 4.5% alcohol by volume, water, barley, hops, and spices. Wait, there's no yeast in here. How did you make beer? Oh... Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's open it. Let's drink it. The GRB. We're drinking from the GRB. Now, I've always noticed a, uh, a fault in GRB beers, which is dicetylol. It has a. It usually has a very buttery flavor. And from what I've been told by people that have worked there in the past, is that's the brewer's signature, is to put that buttery taste in his beer. And I'm really hoping this doesn't have it. Because this is ginger. It should be a nice spicy that's beer. That's right. And yeah, that is. Just like apple juice. It certainly does. It smells good. Nice, bright white head. Mm. It does have some viscosity to it. Not too, too much, but it does stick a little bit. It does smell of ginger. It smells of pickled ginger out of the bottle, though. It smells like it smells like I'm at a sushi shop. I'm like the bad ginger beside you. Oh, I see. I was that's I was waiting like for it. Rotten salmon. Is this still going? <laughs> Should yeah, be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here. At I went to Wind a few days ago. Oh, yeah, it's good, it's eh? Good. I think I might go tomorrow. Yeah, it's Let's nice. Go to Wind with me. You want? <clears throat> I work. Do you want to come to sushi? I mean, I'll go into lunch. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You look perplexed. I am perplexed. I, uh, I don't know what I think of this. Because it's not a ginger beer. Does it taste like ginger? I don't want ginger aids. It... <laughs> Fuck. Oh no, his hair's turning red. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said it's a weird, mild kind of drink, not too ginger. No, it, it tastes like straight ginger. But without the kick. There's no kick yeah. to it. Yeah, there's no bite. No, no, it's... It's it's pretty much water. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, it's very watery. It's even light-bodied. It's low carbonation. Yeah. It's... It's like soda water you let out for, left out for an hour with some pickled ginger in the bottom of it. Yeah. More like a ginger tea. Yeah, yeah. Like ginger's there. Yeah. But it, it's there, but it isn't at the same time. I mean, yeah. It's disappointing. You can taste some ginger. Like, it, it tastes more like ginger than, say, ginger ale you buy at the store, like Schweppes or anything. No, it tastes yeah. like ginger, but there's just no, it, no but, bite. I mean, every. I, when I have a ginger ale, I want, want it to. That. When I have a ginger beer, I want it to have that bite. I want yeah, it to be like I just took some ginger root, shaved it down so the skin's off of it, and just took a big bite out of it. That's what I want out of a ginger. Not everybody wants that, but I want a ginger beer to taste like ginger. Yeah. And yeah, this has some ginger to it, but ginger has a natural kick to it. Yeah, it's that an intro there. ginger. Then. I don't even know if I'd say this is an intro ginger. Mm -hmm. I'd say like Krabby's is an intro. Oh ginger. yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, it has a little bit of bite, but it's sweetened up so that you don't get the bite. This, this is isn't sweet. sweetened either. This, this is, is just nothing. this is just there. Yeah. Ginger tea is the best way to explain it. Like you were saying, it's. The first sip I took had a really dirty flavor on the background too, like uh, again, almost like an English hop. But on the plus side, I'm not picking up the buttery taste. Yep, there is no buttery taste to it. You could do a float with this. See if you mix that with iced tea, it'd be really good. Yeah, it it's would cut a little bit of the sweetness of the iced the tea. Time. And... Ginger ale and iced tea mix all the time. I don't know, I can't say it's bad, but it's not good. It's either. not bad, but it's, yeah, exactly. I'll uh, give it a five. It's there. It's drinkable. There's nothing I can complain about other than it doesn't have that kick. I, 
I I'm disappointed with it actually. I mean I, I mean I wasn't expecting a, a shit ton out of it, but I'm a little disappointed because I love ginger beer, and this is not that. Bum bum bum. Uh, I'll give it a five as well. Uh, maybe five five. I mean I would drink it again just because. Once again, like I've said before, because it's ginger, I would drink it again. But it's uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. So somebody has to send me a homebrew that's made with dog shit and call it ginger beer. Cause she drink it again. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Bye. Fuck. <laughs>